case, I want to talk a little bit about why I believe a lot of student unions in the United Kingdom are hijacked in some ways by the loony left. I'll put, just put it bluntly, the loony left. Um, if this is the first time you've watched my videos, uh, I don't regard myself particularly as a right winger. Nor am I a left wing, I'm a centrist, and I'll make another video specifically to explain that. But anyway, this is a video where I'm going to be um, attacking the extreme left or neoliberals, or whatever way you want to put the, this. I just read in the Daily Mail about um, a student union in London, Goldsmiths Student Union. Um, and the article is basically about an event they had recently uh, for and um i'm not going to read all of it because the last time i the second time i tried to upload this video and the last time it didn't quite work so i'll get straight to the point basically this was um uh an event to promote equality and the organizer the welfare and diversity officer of the students union specifically uh, forbid white people and males from coming to the event. So just to be clear, this was an event to promote equality and white guys and uh, oh, guys and white people in general were forbidden from coming. Um, basically it says that uh, the Welfare and Diversity Officer Baha Mustafa uh, said she hoped to persuade academics to broaden courses to include more material relating to minority groups. She wrote on Facebook, invite loads of BME women and non-binary people. Also, if you've been invited and you're a man or white, please don't come. Capitals. Uh, just because I invited a bunch of people and hope you will be responsible enough to respect this as a BME women and non-binary event only. Well, and the article goes on to explain that there was a lot of outrage and so on, rightly so. Firstly, if it was uh, intended for BME women only, then they should have just specified that from the start, rather than cause confusion by, you know, if she sent it out, then that's just foolish. If she didn't want lots of people to come, then uh, she shouldn't have sent it out. Now, she's been accused of being patronising because she then claims... Um, don't worry, lads, we will give you and allies things to do. How patronising is that? In other words, men who are sympathetic to what the event is supposed to be about and um, and others, presumably white women, uh, then they have things to do, you know? Um, that is just the height of absolutely patronising attitude. And the thing is, this is... Uh, I don't think this is an isolated incident. I think this exists in student unions up and down in the United Kingdom. British student unions, most of them, tend to be pretty left wing. Um, and I've seen this, uh, not directly this sort of thing, but I've seen elements of it um, at the time I was at university at Wolverhampton. That was way back in the mid 2000s. But it is something that is definitely obvious in universities. I just think it's a height of hypocrisy to have an event that is supposed to be for promoting tolerance and yet you're specifically excluding certain groups of people. That is just utterly nonsensical. Clearly, if this had been an event for white men only to discuss the issue that impact them, it would have been absolutely closed down and the people organising it probably would have been arrested. So. That sort of hypocrisy I have no time for. And when I've spoken out against um, the way that third wave feminism currently is, this pretty much exemplifies it. And I would be very interested in knowing what male feminists think of this. You know, if you're a male feminist, presumably you believe in the feminist logic of promoting equality. So how does this then go into your book? Would you not find this offensive? If you're a male and you consider yourself feminist, or are you really going to be pushed around and say, oh, well, there must be a reason for it? To me, this is just utterly ridiculous. Um, the decision after the, the widespread
has refused to speak to the press. But the point here is, how can they possibly refute that when the policy is blatantly obvious? I just think that this reminds me of uh, the Labour Party's women-only conferences and other such rubbish. I just think it is insane to try and argue against sexism or racism by promoting sexism and racism. It is stupid. Because guess what? Men are human beings and white people are human beings. So to try and say that they are excluded from any sort of... It's absolutely ridiculous. For one thing, it's a generalization because it's presumably her thinking behind that was because all, all guys are the same. And then she talks in terms of allies. So I don't, I don't know if she's looking down on men or she thinks all men are the same. Either way, it's bad. If she thinks all men are the same, then obviously she's a sexist. And if she talks about allies, that is guys who support what the event is about, but then doesn't let them actually get involved, then it's just absolutely hypocritical. I checked out their Facebook page to see what sort of responses there were. I left a response of my own. Um, sometimes I do that. I try to avoid focusing on individuals because I don't want to get into a back and forth with them, but sometimes I will leave my views on a particular group. And I want to explain that that is not trolling, okay, because that's a trend that's thrown around a lot. A troll is someone who leaves a comment in order to start a, a cyber war. I left a comment just to show that I was outraged by their position because I think it is all acceptable. Um, so shame on Goldsmiths Union and shame on them for trying to deny this when it's so blatantly obvious. What they should have done was sack this officer and then made a public apology and say, we're an inclusive union. We uh, want to make all students feel welcome. And OK, if there is a specific issue with ethnic minority women facing issues, the report doesn't say there is. But if there's a specific issue with that, fine, deal with it. But you don't deal with the problem by excluding other people. Because maybe uh, white male students are very sympathetic and want to help. You know, if I, if I knew about racism on a campus or in a society that I was part of, I would be doing something about it. I would want to help people. So then to turn around and slap those students in the face and say you're not welcome is just, frankly, she should be ashamed of herself. But this is, um, it's not just about this, you know, because this can be seen all over unions across the country, student unions. Um, it says she took gender studies, so why am I not surprised? Anyway, rant over. Let me know your thoughts on that. To me, it's blatant discrimination and uh, the union should be doing a lot more than just reversing its policy. They should be publicly apologising to the entire student body. Um, and yeah, I just think it's ridiculous. Uh, do let me know your thoughts. And just for reference, this is Goldsmiths Union in London. They have overturned the policy now, which is a good thing, but, you know, it shouldn't have happened in the first place. That's the point.